Good evening, this is Busy. Tonight we're going to be doing a test uh, comparing wound field motors and permanent magnet motors. The object of this test is to determine which exhibits the best flywheel um, properties, uh, the wound field or the permanent magnet. Hooked up to this assembly right now is a wound field motor. It's a Japsco 3 inch blower. I took off the blower assembly obviously. Uh, 12 volt 4.3 amps. Um, in the next video we will be comparing that to a 12 volt permanent magnet motor. Uh, 3.7 amps. I know it's slightly different amps. Um, that's not completely apples to apples, but I think it will give us a pretty good idea of which works best. The assembly in front of you is an ongoing project I have exploring watch machines. This is a coil switch which I've been working on. It seems to be working pretty good. What we're going to be doing is throwing the switch over here and we're going to let this motor get up to speed. Once it gets up to speed, we're going to make sure that it gets up to full speed by timing it for a whole minute. That way I figure we'll get both motors getting up, up to speed so there's no question of which is uh, working best or one was cheap with power. As you can see right now by my watch, it is when a second hand reaches on top, we're going to start the one minute clock and after the one minute we'll turn it off and then we'll see which coasts the longest using a flywheel effect. Um, this actually started because of a debate on energeticforum.com. A gentleman by the name of Electricity um, said that he had this idea for the Watson machine but using a permanent magnet motor. Uh, Watson, however, when he developed his first motor, said that he used a wound field motor. Um, and many of the gentlemen on Energetic Forum also agree that a wound field motor uh, would work best. So this is to put all the naysayers who doubt that a wound field motor works best. This is hopefully to set everybody's mind at ease. We're almost at the mark. Okay, I just threw the switch to turn it off. And right now it is beginning to slow down just a, a little bit. The, um, like I said, this is part of another experiment which I'm working on uh, using Watson, uh, Watson's machine's ideas. The, the weights you see in front of you are actually part of a coil switch that I'm making and acts as the weights on the flywheel. We're at 30 seconds right now. 35. 40 seconds. Okay, 45 seconds it took to uh, stop. And in the next video, I will uh, put on the have the current magnet motor already assembled, and we'll test.